Fish farm opponents who are marching down the length of Vancouver Island made their way into Nanaimo today. The group is demanding an end to open water fish farming on BC's coast, an industry they say that is killing wild salmon. They have the support of many First Nations, but not everybody's on board. A News reporter Brent Shearer has more on the story. He joins us now with details in our Nanaimo newsroom. Brent. Hudson, while the protesters rallied outside of a big box store that sells farmed salmon, just down the road in downtown Nanaimo, salmon farming representatives were meeting with First Nations to discuss the economic benefits their industry can bring. Costco! Costco! Salmon has to go. Stop selling farm salmon was the message protesters had for Costco at a rally this afternoon. The salmon here is all filled with chemicals. Among the people leading the charge was Fred Speck, a member of the Guawanu tribe in the Broughton Archipelago. It's important to us because we're concerned about our, our natural environment. Uh, it's um, disrupted a lifestyle and way of uh, natural foods that we had in abundance uh, in our traditional territory. I want to say Speck says fish farming has become a very divisive issue within his community and among neighboring First Nations. Jobs are on the line. Uh, it's half the economy in Clem 2 in terms of uh, employment and, and jobs. So guys, how you doing today? Larry Grieva is one of the speakers at the First Nations Resorts Opportunities Conference happening just down the road from today's protest. He's worked with the Kitasu First Nation for more than two decades and says fish farming is a crucial part of their economy. I think right now it's $1.4 million a year in wages into an extremely remote community. While the protesters say it's clear sea lice from fish farms is killing wild salmon, the issue for some of the remote First Nation communities involved with salmon farming isn't so black and white. I'm not convinced that they're science and uh, I think uh, we have to be listening to both sides of the story. There are a lot of these places where they are, that's the only jobs they can get. So they're forced to side with the people that employ them. And while I can appreciate that's jobs for them, eventually it's not going to be there. The anti-fish farm protest continues south to Ladysmith tomorrow. The fish farm protesters have collected thousands of signatures for their petition to the federal government to essentially shut down the salmon farming industry by moving all salmon farms out of the water and into closed containment pens. On May the 8th, that protest wraps up in Victoria at the B.C. Legislature. That's it. All right, we'll keep covering the tour. Thank you, Brent Shearer, and then I will. Thank you.